Hello and welcome to a video about the ease of access settings here in Windows 10. I'm Chris Hughes, a work-based learning student with the Assistive Technologies team here at the University of Chester. Throughout this video, I'll cover five useful tips and tricks to help you get the best out of your digital experience. In this video, I'm going to cover the display settings, the mouse pointer, the text cursor, the magnifier, and the color filters. The quickest way to bring up the ease of access settings is to click this left hand search bar at the bottom. Once you've done this you're going to search for ease of access brightness settings. In the display settings there's two important options to look at. The first one is making the text bigger throughout Windows 10. So this is on a slider which as you can see at the top makes the text bigger. So this sample text gets bigger and smaller to give you an idea of how big the text is. For me I find 125% works the best but it depends on your monitor and your eyesight. The second one is this one that makes everything bigger in Windows 10. So I've changed it from 125% to 150% and this has made everything on the screen bigger. The second tip that I'd like to highlight is changing the mouse pointer. So this can be found on the left hand side under the vision tab. You can change the size of the pointer with this slider here. I find that two works best on my monitor. You can also change the color of the pointer by clicking on this box just here. There's some set colors you can go for here or you can pick a custom color and if you'd like a specific one, you can input a hex code here. My third tip is about the text cursor. This can be found on the left hand side again under the vision tab. You can change the size of the text cursor with this slider just here. I find that two works best for me because I found that as I make it bigger, it starts to cover the text. There is a solution to this by using this top one here. So you can put these dots above the cursor and by sliding this it makes the dots bigger and smaller. I found this is extremely helpful when using big word documents. It's easy just to find where the cursor is. Again you've got the set colors here and you can pick the custom color like on the mouse arrow. My fourth useful tip is the magnifier. This has lots of different functions and you should take some time to play around with it. But please remember that the Windows key and escape turns off the magnifier if you ever get stuck. To turn on the magnifier you need to click this button here. So as you can now see I've got a docked bar at the top of my screen. If I was to change this to lens mode I would now gain a lens appears on my mouse which I can change the size of using these sliders. So I find this is particularly useful in a Word document where I'm at the end of the day and my eyes are tired and I just need something to help me keep track of where I am on the page. Another useful thing for me to highlight is if I go to 100% on the bar and change it to full screen mode now if I go back to my Word document I can play the text. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. So again this is another useful thing to highlight and also I've got another button that I can click. Help keep your document coordinated. And it will play from there. The final tip that I'd like to highlight are the color filters. These can be particularly helpful if you struggle to see certain colors. Windows have also included a color wheel at the bottom, which makes it very helpful when you're trying to test which color filters work best for you. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned lots of tips and tricks about the ease of access settings in Windows 10. If you've got any more questions or you'd like to find out more information about digital accessibility, I'll leave my colleagues' details at the end.